let's begin building our first show here on the NX2. Here we've got the splash screen. We just started up the console using the power switch in CPU mode. And now we're going to go ahead and create a new show. If you had a show before, you'll see the continue, and you'll get this pop-up about the old show data being cleared. As long as you saved a backup, you're good to go. Press yes, and now we can go ahead and name our new show. I'm going to call this NX2, and press OK. Now, it'll take just a minute to set up the software, and we'll be ready to patch. Awesome. Now the interface is loaded to patch. We'll press the onyx in the upper left-hand corner, head into patch, and now we're presented with a couple options. Down here on commands, we see all the different patch commands. We're going to go with new fixture, but take note of all the other commands, and if you like patching via command line, maybe you're used to it from another console, those options are available as well. Pressing new fixture, we see our patch wizard. Now our patch wizard has a few important parts. First, we see the standard library screen where we have our manufacturers in the left column, our fixtures in the middle, then our settings and our DMX profile. We'll head down to elation, so we'll just press D, E, down to elation. And then we're gonna find our artiste Van Goghs. So we're in A, of course, because that's where the alphabet starts. Artiste Van Gogh. We're going with extended mode here. And then we're going to patch four of these. So before we get on to the next step, you can see here when you're looking through your modes, if you have a fixture where the mode names don't quite match up with what's in Onyx, that's OK. It's easy to see what the channel layout is, compare it with your notes, and you'll be able to find the correct profile. Press Auto Patch. Now we can name them if we'd like. We can set our amount using the plus and minus. Or in this case, I'll just tap in the amount field and type a four on my keypad. Then we have the ability to change our fixture ID, our universe, and our address. I'll go ahead and set my fixture ID on this one to 101. I'm going to leave all the settings where they are. Press apply. At the top, We'll see the patch happen, and we're ready to go. Now we'll go and add a next new fixture. We'll do some chorus line 16s, which just happens to be the next line here. And then we'll go ahead, choose our mode, extended. And this is where we see virtual dimmer come up. Virtual dimmer is where we have an LED fixture, um, typically any fixture with color mixing that doesn't have an intensity channel. When we turn virtual dimmer on, we can see now that we're going to be able to have intensity control over the fixture and its parts. And so we're able to change the overall intensity level and most importantly, use intensity type effects later. Press auto patch. We're going to go ahead and choose eight of these. Same process. We'll set our start ID to these guys at 301. Press apply, and they're patched. Next, let's go ahead and patch some darts 360s. Same process, but when we bring up our patch wizard the third time, we are in a different window. This is Onyx helping us out. It's going to show us the patch types here along the bottom first. This just shows us any fixture types that are already patched in the show, so that if you're patching another one again, you don't have to find it through the whole library. Across the bottom, we have patch types, we have history, which shows the fixtures that we've patched recently in this console. We've got the standard library, the user library, any fixtures you created or imported yourself, and then a search function for the fixture library. Go to our standard library, go to D for darts and elation, go ahead and run them in basic mode, press auto patch. We're going to bring 12 of these in. Perfect. We'll set our fixture number, 201, press apply. And like that, we've got three sets of fixtures patched. Now, 
I'm going to go ahead and patch a little bit more of what we have in our demo rig here. But for you at home following along, we can press close patch and then we'll join ourselves back in the main interface in our next video.